We found the best games ever. According to Metacritic. But what are the top rated games of all time? Welcome to Green Lichen Reviews. I'm Lichen. And I'm Kim. And this list is based on the games with the highest meta score. So let's get started with number 10, Metroid Prime. Metroid Prime is a first person shooter that was released on the 17th of November 2002. The game follows the story of Samus, a bounty hunter on a mission to unravel the mystery behind the ruined walls of Talon 4. Equipped with a power beam and gravity suit, you go through missions, shooting switches, solving puzzles and taking out enemies while collecting power-ups and new weapons in order to open new areas to explore and progress the mission. Metroid Prime currently has a meta score of 97 and a user score of 9. Number 9 is Grand Theft Auto 5. Grand Theft Auto 5 was released on the 18th of November 2014. You take on the role of Franklin, a former street gangsta, Michael, the professional ex-con, and Trevor, a maniac in need of some serious anger management. They team up, commit some crimes, and pull off some more. Oh, they team up, commit crime. Oh, they team up, commit crimes, and pull off some heists around Los Santos in order to set up themselves for life. <laughs> they team up, commit crimes, and pull off heist around St. <laughs> they team up, commit crimes, and pull off heist around St. <laughs> they team up, commit crimes, and pull off heist around Los Santos in order to set themselves up for life. As it's a GTA game, you're free to run, drive, sail, and fly around Los Santos, causing chaos and destruction however you choose. Grand Theft Auto V has a meta score of 97 and a user score of 8.4. Number 8 is Red Dead Redemption 2. Red Dead Redemption 2 was released on the 18th of October 2018. This game is the GTA of the Wild West where you play as Arthur Morgan, a badass rogue set on robbing, stealing and fighting his way across 1899 American heartland. You are free to act as you like, Fight whoever you choose, rob stores, and even start train robberies. Get your horse, guns, and lasso ready as you take on the law and bounty hunters in Red Dead Redemption 2. It currently has a meta score of 97 and a user score of 8.8. .8. Lucky number 7 is Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3 was released on the 30th of October 2001. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3 was the best game in the series, with better graphics and smoother controls. It was the go-to game for skateboarding fans, allowing you to skate around the arena, performing crazy tricks and grinds. It introduced new tricks, the ability to revert, and create longer combos, as well as being the first game in the series to have online capabilities. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3 was the standout game in the series by far. It has a meta score of 97 and a user score of 7.7. .7. Number 6 is Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild was released on March 3rd, 2017. You play as Link, running, jumping, swimming, gliding and climbing around the kingdoms of Hyrule. This game was a huge success because of the freedom it gave play. This game was a huge success because of the freedom it gave players, the use of creativity in its gameplay and puzzles, and the systems that were never utilized like this before. The Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild is a huge game with lots of things to do, and it's definitely worth playing. It has a meta score of 97 and a user score of 8.8. .8. Next up, we have like and subscribe. Like and subscribe should really be number one in this list, but because of a technicality, it's not. So if you are still watching and enjoy this video, you should like and subscribe as it helps out the channel a lot and obviously lets us know that you are enjoying our content so that we know that we should make more of it. At number five, we have Super Mario Galaxy 2. Super Mario Galaxy 2 was released on May 23rd of 2010. Super Mario Galaxy 2 is a platformer that has you playing as Mario and later on as Luigi as you travel around 3D planets in order to collect power stars with the end goal of, as expected, saving Princess Peach from Bowser. The gameplay is pretty much the same as the first one. It has a meta score of 97 and a user score of 9.0. Speaking of the first one, number 4 is Super Mario Galaxy. Super Mario Galaxy was released on November 12th, 2007. Super Mario Galaxy is a platformer that has you play as Mario and you pretty much already know the rest because it's a prequel to the last game. You collect power stars with the end goal of 
as expected, saving Princess Peach, who at this point should hire a bodyguard or something as this crap is getting out of hand. It has a meta score of 97 and a user score of 9.1. Third place we have Grand Theft Auto 4. Grand Theft Auto 4 was released on April 29th of 2008. GTA 4 puts you in the shoes of Nico. It's a Grand Theft Auto game. You already know what it's about, and I'd rather not repeat myself again. <laughs> it has a meta score of 98 and a user score of 8.2. Second place, Soul Calibur. Soul Calibur was released on September 8th, 1999. Soul Calibur is a classic fighting game where you beat up your opponent using a weapon and win by either knocking your opponent out of the ring or depleting their health bar. Soul Calibur was originally an arcade game and was later released on the Dreamcast as a launch title. It has a meta score of 98 and a user score of 8.2. And at number one, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time was released on November 23rd of 1998. The first Legend of Zelda game to be released in 3D. Ocarina of Time has you playing as Link as he sets off on a quest to save Hyrule. The unique mechanics of this game comes into play when you get the Ocarina of Time that allows you to play songs for certain effects, to progress the game's story, and to change time in the Temple of Time. It's an expansive game with various areas to travel and enemies to fight, and the story is filled with multiple twists and turns that will keep you gripped until the end. It has a meta score of 99 and a user score of 9.1. But this is just a list of top rated games based on its meta score, and meta scores are a bit strange. If you want to see the best selling games of 2023, check out this video here and make sure to get down in the comments and let us know what games you are looking forward to this year. Because we need human interaction. We've, We've been, been Green Lichen. Thank, Thank you for watching, watching our video. video. And, and we'll, we'll see, see you, you in, in the, the next, next one. one.